Wild one guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reaper, coming at you today's video, which is how we vac a pond. So, let's go. So for those of us that don't have a bottom drain on our ponds, me included, because I've got the three meter indoor swimming pool, it gets a lot of gunk and a lot of build up on the bottom. Now I've intentionally let this get this bad, just so I can showcase you guys of how we use a pond vac um, and the benefits of it. So let me quickly switch around and I'll show you the pond vac and the setup and how it works. And then yeah, I'll do some time lapse of me actually getting to the bottom and scrubbing this back clean. So in essence, this here is the pond vac. Here's the handle with a, it's got like an angled edge on, which in essence that bit there just sort of glides along the bottom of the pond. So it goes in like so, and then you just sort of scrub away, obviously when it's turned on, uh, but it does make an absolute racket. Comes down these holes, feeds into here, goes through, and then what happens is this bottom bit here stays on, this top bit comes off, and then you put that out and just literally drain off all the water. And it's literally as simple as that. It's painstaking, it's boring, it's not one of the most fun tasks in the world to do, hence why I'm gonna time lapse it. I mean, I have already had like a little bit of a go here, as you can see, sort of from the color difference. And like I say, I've intentionally let this get real gunked up just so you guys can really see the sort of difference. So what I'm probably gonna do is probably gonna attach you onto here, and then yeah, do a little bit of a time lapse footage of me doing maybe this area here, just to sort of showcase you guys what the actual difference is. The first one I will show you without actually putting it on um, the time lapse so she can sort of hear the racket. And then you'll be able to also hear when the chain was full. In essence, what happens is the pond vac shuts down to enable you to take it outside or to take it into a drain and drain it off. Okay, so that is the pond vac now full. Just attach the tripod. Now it's just a matter of dragging it outside. Oh, don't forget to unplug it if your extension lead isn't long enough, which mine isn't. So all you do, drag it outside, take this hose, put it on the floor, and literally away you go. Now I'm pretty fortunate that I've got a manhole cover there just at the bottom of the corner behind the car. Um, so this literally here just drains away and in essence there's like a little like rubber grommet inside there so you put that down and there you go you can see it trickling out and yeah that's it like I say laborious long slow and very very boring but yeah let me attach you guys back on and we'll get some time lapse footage of this getting cleaned oh before we do Big koi, little koi, cardboard box. <laughs> As you can see, bear with me. As you can see, it is a considerable difference. Okay, I've still got to do this bit here, but just that bit there in the middle, in regards to all the detritus and that that it's picking up, is absolutely incredible. So it is definitely, definitely going to be worthwhile doing. And like I say, once all the sides have been wiped down and stuff like that as well, it's going to be incredible. 
But let me come back to you guys with a final shot of when it's all done. And yeah, I can show you how good of a beast this thing actually really is. Okay, so as you can see, that is the pond once it's been completely backed. Like I say, there are still a few bits at the bottom, but you're never going to get it sort of completely, completely pristine. But you see the fish an awful, awful lot better. Big Jim Rinogon coming through there. I have put a few more fish in here as well now. Uh, a lot more of the Japanese call the Asagi cross just here. But, yeah, so that is basically a surefire way of how to use a pond back. Like I say, still plenty of videos to come on this big indoor pool. Obviously, we've got to do the three-tier back in shower. Still got to update you on the rest of the totes that I've got in here in regards to how we do them. But there are some amazing, amazing stocking levels in the fish room now. Can't really see that one too much at the minute because I am trying to treat it um, with a UV clarifier. And again, there's a lot in this tote here as well, but this is a three to four inch, so they're an awful lot smaller. So yeah, if you like what you see, I really appreciate watching my channel grow along with you guys. If you're watching this on landscape mode at the moment, just swipe up on your phone and either here or here, there will be a subscribe button. Give that a whack or a whack there. Uh, and hit that bell notification as well so you get alerts every time I update some videos. I'm going to be doing a lot on koi, sort of common problems that you get with ponds, etc, etc, outdoors in the summer and things like that. And how to treat some of the more basic issues, moving on to some more of the complex issues. So as ever, follow me on social media. Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram is slightly different. Popping up just down here, right there. At the dot balding dot reefer is my Instagram. But yeah, other than that, thanks very much for watching. Balding reefer.